What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Monterey Bible, doing a reading for Taurus. It's for the month of September. Taurus uh, is a universal month four. I was going to say seven. I don't know. I have seven on the brain. <sighs> month four. Month four is all about work, hard work. Totally opposite. Seven. <laughs> Anyways, Taurus, that is going to be the theme of the month, working hard, stability, getting your disability, um, family, spend some time with your family if you can, um, the home, home life, uh, things like that of that nature. So whatever makes you feel stable and secure is going to come into play. A lot of people, most of the signs have had readings regarding love, so I think that always has something to do with how how we feel stable, whether the person we love or not. So, not generally looking looking for that, but let's see what the cards have to say for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general reading. Let's take it with the grain of salt. If it's for you, it's for you. And if it is, hit, hit that like button. Also, subscribe to my videos, and um, let's get to it. All right, so Angel Spirit Guys, Ancestors, please give me insight into Taurus. For the month of September. We're getting ready for a full moon too. Well, this week. I don't know when you're watching the video. Which is on September 2nd. Full moon. In Pisces. I should talk about that later though. Just... Everybody's talking about the planes. Yes, I live by the airport. Sorry guys. All right, let me focus. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising for the month of September. Whoop. All right, this one jumped out, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. Looks like, Taurus, you are in the state of indeci ugh, indecision, the two of swords, not wanting to decide on something, um, kind of feeling like, eh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I see that you are hopeful, though. Some good energy. Some things are moving a little slow in your life, and some things you're not very happy about, but you're feeling a little bit optimistic about some things. Not quite making a decision yet. The star card is in the uh, second house. So it could be that most of y'all feel hopeful about your financial situation or something that you put in value, uh, something that you value a lot. I do feel like things are moving slow. So once again, can be in regards to your financial situation, Maybe things have slowed down a little bit, you feel a little stuck, um, but you're still hopeful. I feel like your stability with the sun card, you got the sun going down on how you feel stable. Not a great card to have in the fourth house because, I mean, that could be uh, your work life, that could be your home life. Things just don't seem very happy. <sighs> Romantically, I feel like you're going back into a situation or you're on a journey with somebody, you, a long journey, you and someone else are going through it, but at least y'all have each other. The Six of Swords talks about just taking, going, this, see, this is two people, maybe three. Looks like a little kid there. But this is taking a journey with someone romantically. Um, even though there could be troubled waters, you, you're willing to go through it. You're willing to go through those troubled waters with that person. Very different from the other signs. It looks like you're willing to work through something. Matter of fact, you have the six of wands, right? You know, seven. The seven of wands in the sixth house, which is, talks about commitments, your job situation, trying to stay on top. I feel like you got something, you've worked for it. And there seems to be some outside competition trying to knock you down, but you're like, I'm not going to let this knock me down. I'm not going to allow this. With the Taurus energy, is like, I'm not going to let this change me. Nope. I'm not letting this go. So if it's a job situation, you don't want to let go of this job. If it's um, a love situation, you don't want to let go of this love. You're willing to fight for it. Your person seems to be a little bit unstable. They have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is someone who's kind of insecure. Not kind of, very insecure. She's a, she or he doesn't have to be a girl, but it, this is a person who has a little bit of insecurity. They have a few problems. <laughs> they could be having financial problems as well. But this is a person who is a little tricky, can be tricky, uh, manipulative. 
uh, they have the between your energies, the page of wands. Someone not wanting to start a new beginning, feeling a little pessimistic about things. But the overall energy says the full card that there is a new energy coming. New energy coming for you too. New energy at least coming for you. A new beginning, starting something new. They see you as someone they could love. But there's some things in the way, like you're not quite there yet. They feel uncomfortable. Or that you're uncomfortable. I see that you're focused. But once again, we got two pages. Something is not starting. What's hidden is that um, the page of pentacles is reversed. Someone not really seeing the potential. I don't think, what I'm seeing here, Taurus, is that someone's not putting as much work into this connection as you are. You're willing to fight for it, but I'm like, they're like, yeah, I don't know. And that's okay, I mean, but at the end of the day, got the Hierophant card. This is about tradition, this is about marriage, this is about long-term commitment. Um, if you're dealing with someone you're not married to, this person, there's a potential to be married to this person. You just gotta give them time, because Hierophant is, does take a while. They just don't quite see it yet. Your person's not there yet. Uh, I see the Emperor card reversed, which talks about someone is being a control freak. A control freak. You're dealing with someone who likes to be in control a little bit too much. Uh, so, Taurus, I do see like there's more, there is potential in a relationship, or someone else doesn't at least see the potential, but you're willing to fight for it. Let me just show you on a few of these cards. Clarify the two of swords where Taurus is. The two of swords and the two of coins. You're definitely Taurus. You're trying to make a decision about something. Things are out of balance. Things are drop. People are dropping the ball here. It could be a financial situation, but it also I just with two twos. It's about deciding, trying to decide between two things, trying to make your make the right decision. But you're trying to balance things out. You're trying to keep things going. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, your person. Let's see what's going on with them. I feel like your person wants to end it. I don't think you are there. I think your person wants to end it and close things out. They have the Ten of Swords. Clarify the... Why do they want to end it? Why do they want to end it? Let's go to the Empress card. How do they see you? They see you uh, as an empress to the seven of staffs, being a little bit over defensive. You have the seven of staffs twice. Like they see you as somebody who is fighting for love, but you're being very overly defensive. Like they don't get it, I guess. Clarify the page of wands, the energy between the two. I feel you got somebody who's lost passion I don't know if you guys aren't having sex or whatever, but they've lost the passion. They don't want to start anew. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. There's a losing battle here, the Six of Six of Wands. I feel like you're with somebody who does not want to continue with you. They don't see the potential. They don't have any passion for you. I feel like you're fighting for it. You're fighting for the connection. You don't want to let go. You're very hopeful for it, but things are stuck. Clarify the Sun card. Very hopeful. The star card again. Like, you are very hopeful that something can happen. The fool card tells me that, yeah, you want to make a new beginning with this person. You're very focused. Clarify. The Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? You. <laughs> I feel like you're waiting on someone to make a decision. You're waiting on that person to make a decision. The Two of Swords has popped up twice. The outcome is the Two of Swords and the Hierophant, deciding whether you want to stay in a stable relationship or not. This is deciding if you want a long-term commitment with this person, deciding if you want to be married to this person. This person has really lost a lot of passion towards you. And I feel like the unknown is that they're ready to go, which is a reversal of a lot of other signs, but 
Somebody's got to be on the bad end. You're dealing with a control freak, though. Let's clarify some things. Let's clarify the seventh house, why the person is the Ten of Swords. Completion, they feel like the relationship is over. They're ready to start a new phase. Clarify your person, please. Because it's like a graveyard. Y'all aren't having sex, so y'all are not being very sexual. This person does not want to have sex with you. This person doesn't, there's no passion. They got the Chaz card, the nun. Like they're focused on their spiritual life or something. Or they don't want to have sex or they just trying to like, I'm trying to go to a higher purpose. You know, this is the type of person you're dealing with, but they're a control freak. Also, this could be your energy though, being a control freak. You're trying to control a situation that might be over. Clarify the outcome for me, please. The Two of Swords and the Hierophant. The Balancer. Ooh, balancing out two energies. Mmm, what's the outcome? You know, it's the Angel of Ice. Y'all are very opposite of energy between each other. Which may be why y'all is together. Nurture. The angels are asking you to nurture the relationship like a baby. Treat it like a child. Take care of it. And see what happens and then it'll grow. What is the animal oracle advice for Taurus? Sun, moon, and rising. Now if you want to know if your relationship can work, ask, get a personal reading and I will do that for you. The links will be in the description. Make your dreams real. You got the spider spirit, make your dreams real. And you don't build a spider web just like that. You have to do it thread by thread. And then you catch a little fly in that little spider trap that you <laughs> create, which is a horrible analogy when regarding love. But if you gotta catch the person, you gotta catch them, right? Um, I do see the Hierophant marriage, long commitment in the future, but someone has to decide on it. And I think it may be you trying to decide whether you want this connection or not. The balancer card tells me that you are two opposites, like totally different opposites. And you may be dealing with someone who doesn't trust you, who's like, I don't know if I see the potential of this relationship because we're two different people. Maybe they're very religious and you're not. Um, maybe they don't have the strong libido like you do. I don't know what the case is here. But... I'm seeing a lot of differences between you two and you just have someone who doesn't see, doesn't see it happening and you do, or you haven't at least decided yet. But I see you're more hopeful about the connection than they are. All right, I think that's all I see right now or what I can clarify. But I do see uh, you guys are still on a journey together. Like, like y'all are on a definite journey. Let me clarify that, clarify this. Six, Oh, very dependent. A very strong codependent relationship. I don't know if that's good or not. But you guys are very dependent on each other. Someone doesn't want to be single. Maybe you that doesn't want to be single. But y'all are going on a discovery together. I don't think from these cards, I don't think it's quite over yet, but I do feel like it's one foot in, one foot out on that person. But there's still a chance if you want that person and you're staying hopeful, all right? So that is your reading, Taurus. There's still a chance to get this person. Even though they're giving you a hard time, still a chance. <laughs> a very small one. But uh, like I said, if you need a personal reading, I'm here for you. Make your reality happen because if you don't do it, you know it will. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.